Hello, fabulous Capricorn. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of February 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. It is right around the ninth of the month that we are going to have this month's full moon. Now, this full moon for you is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with profound spiritual experiences and transformation. It has to do with being more deeply honest with yourself than you have been before. It has to do with a sense of regeneration as well. So these are deeply personal, deeply meaningful ways in which this energy can be realized. This part of the sky also touches on uh, the occult and the law of attraction. And so you may find some of your powers in these regards are especially high around this particular full moon. Now, in a more literal sense, this energy and this part of the sky speaks to your relationship to financial institutions. So grants, loans, bursaries, insurance payments, tax returns, and benefits you qualify for, all of that is covered here as well. Now it is Mars speaking in supreme harmony with this full moon that is the most encouraging symbol. And it also suggests that Mars energy, it does suggest that you may have to act very quickly, perhaps even impulsively, but the rewards are there as well. And so again, for some of you, this energy may very well be realized in deeply personal and yet deeply meaningful ways where you realize you've changed, where you realize the deeper truth of whether it's yourself or a situation, you realize what it is on a psychological level that maybe has been motivating you to take certain actions. And as you bring it to light, you are changed in some way. You no longer need to behave in a way that otherwise would have stayed unconscious. You're actually working with whom it is you are. And, you know, this is work that Jung uh, talked about where it comes to individuation. It's about bringing the shadow to light. And this is you actually bringing that shadow self to light. It can be incredibly empowering and incredibly important. But at the same time, yes, most people and some Capricorns, I would say, probably are going to be looking at this energy with the hopes of uh, that money finally coming through, the check finally coming through. This is a full moon, so it speaks to fulfillment. So if it is that you've been hoping for that grant or that scholarship payment to finally arrive, well, this full moon is a great symbol, an encouraging symbol that says that may very well happen at this time. You may be sprung into action. You may have to very quickly make a phone call or fill out some forms. But as you do, very quickly, the rewards will be there. Very likely financial rewards as well. Now, as we navigate later into the month, right around the 23rd is when we are going to have this month's new moon. Now, this new moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with a few different things. Communication of all kinds is covered here. Emails you get, letters you get, documents. It has to do with learning and curiosity. It has to do with expression and spontaneity. This part of the sky is also connected to siblings and cousins and neighbors. So what I really love about this new moon is that it is speaking in harmony with Mars and with Uranus. By this point, you are going to have Mars in your sign, and that is really going to give you fresh life, fresh energy, fresh juice, if you will. It isn't just about the fact that this new moon is taking place, but with Mars newly in your sign at this point, you are feeling more awake and more open to change than you might have felt in a while, more spurred into action. And so chances are at this time, you are having a lot more conversations than usual. You are having the sense of connecting with people, however, spontaneously. And some of these people may very well be siblings, cousins, and neighbors. But in a general sense, more phone calls, more text messages are coming in and they're going out as well. This is a part of the sky connected to synchronicity. And so your sense of being in the right place at the right time, meeting the right person, and it making a difference is that much higher at this new moon. But here's something else to take into consideration. In addition to the fact that Mars is in your sign and you are just wanting change, you're feeling it in your bones, you are ready to take action to change your life in some way that matters to you, 
that's a part of what is happening in the sky by the time we get to this new moon. What we also have happening a week before the new moon is Mercury retrograde in the same part of the sky. So it isn't so much about you connecting with new people. It's more like reconnections. It isn't so much about you looking for new ideas and new conversations, more like that conversation or that idea that started before now gets picked up again. It is those very things that are coming back around at this time that represent the biggest blessings and the biggest potential. Where it is that you really are going in brand new directions, that's where I'd invite you to be a little bit careful, especially with things like contracts and agreements that you might make. Mercury retrograde tends to not be a good time to sign contracts uh, and documents. And then you've got this Mercury retrograde happening in a part of the sky that is documents for you, is communication for you. Well, it tells me that you need to be doubly careful where it comes to how it is that you're uh, understanding documents and contracts. And it is very possible that key details may be missed. But for all that, where it is that you're going back over old ground, where an opportunity is coming back around, where there was a contract and then it fell through and now it's coming back again, that is where massive blessings are possible with a sky like this. Now, where it comes to matters of love, it is right around the 16th of the month that Mars will enter your sign for a nice long stay of a month and a half. And when Mars moves into your sign, it is a wake up call. It feels like just overnight, uh, you've woken up in terms of your own desires and your desire to connect with another can be especially strong. If you are open to meeting someone new, you'll be more gutsy. You'll likely be uh, more brave and more motivated to connect with new people that can have you taking chances, that can have you actually being more active as part of connecting with others. I do think the fact that Venus uh, right around the sixth is gonna move into the very foundation of your chart, there might be a part of you that is looking to the past and love and where you've been. With the Mercury retrograde, there might be a part of you that is seeking to understand where it is that you've been. But for all that, you are feeling especially courageous as you go out there. And that in and of itself ensures that you might actually connect with someone in a meaningful way. Now, for those of you who are just starting to date someone, uh, this can be a powerful time as well. But there's something to keep in mind here. When Mars moves into your sign, it becomes a little bit easier to get frustrated with other people, uh, to find yourself losing patience. And especially when it is that someone is starting to get close to you or if you are in an established bond, especially when it is that someone is already close to you, it's easier to become frustrated at them sometimes than it is necessarily to take that moment and stop and take a breath and ask yourself what it is ultimately that you are really wanting to change. Where it is you're taking ownership for the change you desire, this can be an enlivening time. If you're getting to know somebody, this move of Mars can represent an increase in intimacy, or at least your willingness to be uh, more intimate and to spend more time with this person. But it is gonna require you to make sure you're keeping the focus on yourself and the things that you can control and where it is that you don't have control, surrender it, turn it over, but continue to take action to move your life in the direction you desire. Now, for those of you who are in an established bond, as I said, it will take some intention to be kind and gentle with your partner where needed. So do keep that in mind. But for all that, this move of Mars can indicate a heightened motivation to spend time with your partner, spend time alone with your partner. And this can uh, be a time when you're especially motivated to share company, to share energy, and to feel like you have that support in your corner as you go out there and make your own goals happen as well. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here, but I am going to say I do really love that new moon late in the month. I think that is part of the highlight of this time. We've got beautiful Uranian energy coming in. We've got this very beautiful Mars energy coming in to this new moon. In addition to Mars being in your sign, it really is going to feel like a fresh start. It's a fresh start in terms of body, 
in terms of energy, that's the Mars, but it's also a fresh start in terms of mind, that's the new moon. You're seeing things differently and you are learning in new ways. You're curious in a new way as well. And chances are you've got a lot to say and the energy to say it. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.